Hello again, this is Madan. This demo is the continuation of our previous demo on adding notification to our MBC demo application. And in this demo, we will continue adding that feature and we are going to create a new notification controller. So let's go over to the controller folder and let's create a new file and let's call it notification controller.cs. I'm going to copy this name so that I can use it later and this is in the namespace of mbc demo dot controllers and let's create a class public class and the name of the class notification controller and it inherits from the base controller class and let's bring in the namespace and let's generate the constructor for this constructor and the notification and uh, we are going to need the notification repository for this purpose so i'm going to inject the notification repository here i notification repositor repository notification repository and let's bring in the namespace for i notification repository and let's also create the private field for i notification repository notification repository with the underscore prefix and let's save our notification repository to our private field notification repository and now let's create a method public i action result get notification get let's say get get notification and uh, here we're going to get the notification first so variable notification equal to notification repository dot get user notifications and we're gonna need to pass the user id and of course we don't have a user id but we'll create the one shortly variable user id equal to so in order to get the user id uh, we need to inject the user manager so let's create a private field user manager user manager of type application user user manager and we need to bring in the namespace for this and bring in the namespace for <coughs> application user now let's inject the user manager in our constructor so user manager of type application user user manager and save it to the local variable user manager now we can get the user manager by using user manager dot get user id and pass the current http context and user property from there and once we get the user id we can get the notification for that user and finally we are going to return that notification so we just gonna return the ok and uh, we will return the new object anonymous object here let's say notific user notification equal to notification and we are going to return another property as well so in the count we can do notification dot count So this method gets the notification of the user and returns that notification to the caller of this method and uh, we get both the count of the notification how many notification the user has and what are the notifications so the another method we will be implementing here is to read the notification to change the uh, is read status of the notification so public I action result let's say read notification read notification and we will be having the ID of the notification so int ID notification ID let's write notification ID and uh, we will use this notification ID to read the notification we are gonna need to pass the notification id here 
notification id and once we read the notification then when user clicks on the notification we are gonna execute this method and uh, when this method is executed then the read status of the notification will be changed and we will return the ok result let's just return the ok result and let's save this so this is all we need to do for our notification controller and in another video we will uh, get the notification to the view so this is the end of the demo and uh, thanks for watching have a good day